Welcome to this video on the channel My Nissan Electric. As you already know, I'm not an electric car driver anymore. But I was driving the Nissan LEAF for two years. I hoped that the cost of an electric car would have dropped so much, so it would have a similar price that a combustion engine car. But they have not. Indications for the prices of the new Nissan LEAF 2018 model that leaked out seems not to have gone down so much as needed. Although it will have a bigger battery, that's good, but people that still just look at the sticker price will for sure go for the cheaper combustion engine. Also, it seems that this is a problem to get the cars delivered. Look at the Tesla Model 3. They have a huge waiting line. Look at the Hyundai Ioniq that you have to wait for six to eight months and the Opel Ampera E will not be around until next year on most of the markets. So why buy a more expensive car and wait for it when you can buy it cheaper and get the delivery today? Especially if you don't care about the environment and all the other benefits of driving an electric car. Now you think that I have unrealistic hopes and are spoiled due to the fact that I think that the price is so expensive for electric cars. But this is not about me. The general public will accept new higher prices of a product, but they must see a substantial benefit something that makes their life easier or it's just a very very much fun and cool product hello hello <sighs> like when the smartphone disrupted the mobile industry the normal standard electric car today don't fulfill this criteria to motivate the higher price but i understand that there is a problem with the supply of batteries uh, I mean, there has been warnings about this for a long time. And now we probably see the consequences of this, where the manufacturer can't provide the cars because the lack of batteries in the world. And that keeps the price of batteries from falling. And the electric car will still cost much more than a combustion engine. Okay, the price of owning an electric car is lower, you can argue, but it's not enough motivation for the general public. So what must happen to really get the people to make the choice of an electric car instead of a combustion engine? I see it like this. Either the price must go down of an electric car or someone must find some cool features added to the electric car that motivates the higher price. Otherwise, it will not be any disruption of the internal combustion engine that dominates the transport sector. So, will the price go down? If it will, how many years will it take? And do the environment afford to wait for it? Sorry for being so negative, but around me I have my friends finding every excuse not for buying an electric car. Excuses that we have as an EV enthusiast heard for many years. And the statistics talks for itself. There is extremely few electric vehicles sold comparing to the internal combustion engine. 
Charging comes up as one excuse, and this is a problem that needs to be solved fast. Tesla has its supercharger, but all other electric car brands, what do they have? So here I am at a randomly charger anywhere in Sweden, a level 2 charger uh, where I could supposedly charge my car if I like. Uh, but here is one of the biggest criticized that is in the world regarding this charging network. That there, there is no standards. I mean, I have three different kind of RFID cards. And I try this one. No, error. Reading this card. This one. Error reading this card. And this one. Error reading this card. So in B, to be able to charge in this place, I need a fourth RFID card. How many subscriptions and how many cards are you supposed to have to be able to charge in a normal standard electric car in the world? So the conclusion of this is that there is so many things standing in the way for the electric car. The price is too high, delivery times are too long, so complicated with charging, adding to this the limited choice of available models and other add-ons, for example tow bar. Each one of these reasons are enough to rule out the electric car as a choice when standing there deciding what vehicle to buy. So this is the reason why I see the situation that we have today for the electric car as problematic. Yes, there is so many positive things happening if you follow the world's EV news. But the world outside the EV bubble is so much bigger. So will really the disruption occur? Maybe it will not just because it's predicted. That's all for this episode. Have a good day and see you later.